dear friends welcome to shiksha mantra today in shiksha mantra we are going to discuss something that would be much helpful for the children as well as for the mid school students for secondary and higher secondary students and also for the students of competitive exam that means this topic would cover a huge range we are from the children children uh, from the nursery school or primary school and the students who are trying to crack the bank exams or some other competitive exam they would find equally helpful this topic so let's uh, find out which topic we have today for discussion actually i'm uh, talking about rearrange sentences so do you know sentence rearrangement or rearrange the sentence in proper order rearrange the words in proper order to make a meaningful sentence that's a very common question that we face so my point is most of the time if you try to find it out all by yourselves you'd get that the answers that you produce it's totally intuitive you try to find out the meanings of the words and then according to the sense that you get from those words you try to arrange them but my question is is this possible anyhow by any means to make it grammatical that is can we find out some tricks to apply some grammar rules in rearrangement of sentences so that there won't be any confusion regarding where to place what to place how to place what would be the sentence to so find out a very proper very proper answer by applying some tricks so today we are going to discuss about those tricks which we may apply here in rearrangement of sentence so from where we'd find out these tricks first let uh, let me clear this point only you have to apply some common sense and you have to apply some simple grammar rules that you have learned in very early stages of your learning so how it works it would be better for me as well as for you to find it out through some example so let's begin our class with some example so here we are with the first example she policeman of works group of with so this is what we have to find out the proper sentence from these words how can we arrange these words to get a proper sense so from where should we begin this is the first question so as you know when we uh, produce a sentence what we do we follow a basic structure and what's the basic structure of a sentence the basic structure of a sentence is s b o or otherwise we may say subject verb and object so most of the times what we do we try to find out the subject first which one would be the subject and then we try to find out the verb and object so it becomes a bit tough you get nouns both in subject and object position now what would you do you can't make it sure whether this word would be the subject or the object so you get a bit perplexed confusion is uh, you are to come there but when we find out the tricks the proper tricks here 
we won't have any confusion but a proper answer so let's begin from the verb yes dear friends that's the trick you have to find out the verb if any parents are uh, actually observing this class i would rather tell you to teach your word even the children to find out the action verbs or the verbs first that's the best trick with which would solve this like a mathematical problem always i say always i advise my students to face the grammar problems with the same attitude that they apply for mathematical problem so let's uh, see how mathematics is here so what's the verb works this is the verb here now it's very simple just ask the sentence just ask the verb who work who works policeman works no it's not possible here it's policeman so she works so when we ask the verb with who we get the answer that's the subject to so know it you have learned it already if you have forgotten i have an entire dedicated discussion regarding this subject and object so there you may go and uh, find out uh, it from my channel so we got the subject as well as the verb so here finally we have a structure would place the subject first and here the subject is he then we would place the verb the works so we have both the subject and the verb he works next we have to find out the object works whom there's no answer look whom policeman fox policeman that can't be an answer so now if i ask he works as you know after the verb a preposition is needed sometimes so she works off no it can't be she works with so this preposition is important here she works with so after this verb plus preposition combination when we have combined them together now would get the object she works with whom with policemen look this is the object object of the preposition we are after the grammar rules we are using the grammar rules properly so she works with policemen but there we have left a group of now it's quite clear for us she works with a group of policemen we are the group of policemen this is a noun phrase and it's also the object but the object of the preposition so finally we have the answer by finding out the verb only we have found out the verb yes dear friends this is the trick you have to remember find out the verb first or the verbs first sometimes you may fish sentence with two or more verbs in the next example we would discuss about it i'd show you another example with some verbs so we have found out the verb first works then who work or what works he we got the subject and the verb then the object and the rest by following the grammatical rules that we apply so you have some trick and the trick is find out the verb i am repeating it for several times for you to remember it well so here we are with our next example now try to find out how many verbs are there don't go after anything only find out the verb look did so there is not and also 
sleep could have been a verb here could be a verb we don't know we aren't sure so let's uh find out did yeah this is also a verb okay so first ask look who look as look if look all look night look no you look so with the verb look that is verb one we got the subject one you look and let's uh, place it uh, here so that uh, it would be easier for us to get to the next part or check if we are right or not so we got the verb and the subject so we have already completed the verb look now we have another verb that is did not sleep so here if we ask this verb did not sleep who did not sleep again you got the answer so did not sleep this is our second verb or verb to where we have the second subject you so you look did not sleep who did not sleep again we have the subject you so we may place them uh, let me change the color so you'd find it uh, you'd find it better you did not sleep look i am following proper grammar rules this is verb to and this is subject to so when we have completed the analysis of all these things what's about as and if now it's quite clear that these are the connectors or conjunctions you can very easily find it out that these are conjunctions so as they are conjunctions we have to place them here in between these two clauses so you have already found out that the clause is working here so we have the conjunctions here as if this is the conjunction now what sentence we got you look as if you did not sleep so you did not sleep then we uh, get another part from this uh, sentence that is all night so uh, it's speaking of time and you know that this is adverbial so we can bless it you did not sleep all night now try to find out whether we have this sentence completely with complete sense so what uh, we have prepared here the sentence that we have prepared is you look as if you did not sleep all night and you get a proper answer proper grammatical answer where obviously you don't have any confusion rather you have confidence yes dear friends that's our goal not to generate confusion with your grammar questions rather to perform in english grammar with confidence so what you have to remember just remember this replace your confusion with your confidence by watching and observing shiksha mantra here in youtube as well as in facebook and what you would have to do to transform your confidence to transform your not confidence sorry to transform your confusion into your confidence obviously by observing and by staying with us in shiksha mantra here we discuss about english grammar and english literature and at large english language so we are returning very soon with another such very tricky fresh video till then stay with us bye bye happy learning